Hey everyone, and welcome to another part-time drummer blog. Today's uh, subject is going to be on buying um, new and used cymbals in various varieties and forms. So if you've looked at our previous, some of our previous posts, we've already discussed how to buy <clears throat> new and used drum sets. And the methodology and the techniques and steps for buying cymbals are going to be very similar um, for buying uh, new and new cymbals. So let's take a look at what we've got here. All right, if you want to buy a set of new cymbals, uh, it's pretty simple. Um, you just go to your favorite music shop or website or wherever you like to purchase things. And as always, it's a good idea to kind of um, know exactly what you're looking for. Are you looking for a specific brand? Um, are you looking for a set of symbols or just one particular symbol? So, you know, it's a good idea to have that in mind before we actually start shopping. Um, there are quite a lot of symbols on the market, but, um, the, a couple of the bigger brands would be Zildjian, Sabian, Pasty, and now uh, Menil here. Those are the, the biggest ones. There are a couple of other ones there, but those are the big uh, four. Um, right now, I prefer either Zildjian or Sabian. Uh, that's mainly because of personal experience uh, in using these, and their availability is also pretty high, so you can buy them. <laughs> um pretty easily in either new or used. So as you can see here, if you're just um, new to drumming, um, the kind of symbols, the kind of basic symbols that are available, um, you've got ride symbols, crash symbols, hi-hats, china, and splash symbols. And I guess a couple of effect symbols could be in there too. But those are the main kinds of symbols. Um, just a quick overview a ride symbol is usually it's usually between 18 and 22 inches although you can see some of these go up to 24 they're rather large symbols and they're usually set to the right of a drummer over the floor toms and um, they're used kind of in place of a hi-hat where you, you just play on the symbol um, you can crash ride cymbals, but that's not their main purpose. So they're, they're bigger cymbals. They're played either on the edge here or on the bell to get the sound. So um, as you can see, a good new ride cymbal is going to be $300 and up. So ride cymbals are very expensive. The mean, usually between three and $500 is what you can expect to pay for a new ride symbol and that's one of the reasons why I like to buy used ones so ride symbols uh, then crash symbols usually range from about 12 inches to about 18 inches in um, size there and these usually rain range from about probably two to three hundred for a good crash symbol so you can see the the various ones available here. Uh, obviously Zildjian and Sabian kind of have the market cornered, but you see the other brands in there mixed in there. So that's about what you can expect to pay for a um, new crash cymbal. Uh, crash cymbals are the ones that are usually set up in front of the drums that you smash into at the end of a drum fill for lack of a better um, description. Hi-hats, these are probably your main cymbals that you mostly play on. It's the one that's to the left of the snare usually, and it can open and close because there's actually two different cymbals put together. Um, Hi-hats are very expensive as well. You're also looking at three to $500 for a set of good new hi-hats. Um, I, my favorite for Zildjian brand is the A Custom series. This is the one I personally play at the moment. Um, 
they're, they're just a great sounding, bright, useful set of hi hats. Um, 14 inches. You can also get smaller hi hats, but the uh, the standard is about 14 inches for in size. Um, I also like some of the Sabian hi hats. The AAX series is great, in my opinion. Sound great and feel great. Then there's all the other ones to choose from, which I'm sure will sound just as good, depending on what kind of sound you're looking for. So those are hi-hats. Then China cymbals. Um, these are the cymbals that kind of had that sharp, trashy, kind of trash can sound to them. And they're, they're kind of weirdly shaped, as you can see how the they kind of bow upwards, which kind of helps them to make that crazy sounds that they make. So they're, they're about the same as a, as a crash, and they're usually about 18 to 20 inches. They're, they're fairly big. And then finally, you have splash cymbals, which can be anywhere from usually 6 to about 10 inches maybe 12, although 12 is getting into crash range. And these are the, the smaller symbols that have um, used kind of for effects and things like that. Higher, <clears throat> kind of high pitched, short sustain symbols. Um, this is one of my favorites, the A-Custom 8-inch. You see it's fairly small. And then you have a various effect symbols you can get too as well. Um, <clears throat> so you can buy symbols individually or you can buy them in packs, <clears throat> which I think is a great idea as well. <clears throat> it's not going to be cheap though. It's going to be <clears throat> just about as much as a drum set. So this is my one of my favorite packs. The uh, A Custom Series setup, which would get you pretty much most of your main symbols. 14 inch hat, 16 inch crash, 20 inch ride, and 18 inch crash. That's a really good setup to start off with. Um, also too, in some of these websites, they have demonstrations, which is great, where you can go and actually hear what the symbols sound like. Um, if you're buying offline, I'd really recommend doing that, either through the site that you're buying from or going to YouTube and just put it in the name and the, um, the diameter of the symbol. And you'll get a pretty good idea of what the symbol sounds like before you buy it. So that's pretty much how you buy a, a set of new symbols. Pretty simple. You just go to the place that you want to get them. And you decide where you want to buy them individually or in a pack. Um, here's another one of my favorites too. These are great symbols. And obviously they are great because they're going to pay a great price for them. But this is the Zildjian K series. K series is very popular, especially in um, some of the jazz um, genres. Um, I do not have any of these right now, but I want to get them, get a pair, uh, a set of Ks as soon as I can because they're just great sounding symbols. So that's how you buy a new set. Fairly simple. Like I said, uh, depending on the symbol. Mm, Mostly you're going to pay between three and five hundred dollars for an individual symbol brand new and buying in packs can help you save a little bit um, as well give you a little bit of a break on those prices now to buy a set of U symbols um, you can get them in packs if you go to the right place but more than likely to buy used symbols you're going to be buying them individually and again, if you've, like I said, if you've been through some of my previous posts, uh, the method is going to be very similar. Um, so we'll discuss that here. So to buy a used symbol, um, there's really three places that I go um, to get those. There's Craigslist. There's eBay. Or you can even go to some of the main music dealers and they have a use section. But like I said, you need to know your criteria first. You need to know what brand you're looking for. Uh, you need to know 
what kind of symbol, hi-hat, <clears throat> rod symbol, crash, splash, china symbol, another kind that you're looking for before you start so you're not overwhelmed by options. And then you also want to decide on what your price point is. So as with any other um, use thing, my price range is I want to pay for use symbol anywhere between uh, 25 to 50% off normal retail. So if the average symbol is about $300, I would expect to pay anywhere between 150 to 225 for a use symbol. And 150, I would expect to pay for like a more use, you know, that shows more usage. And if it's more towards the newer uh, symbol, lightly used symbol, then you would be willing up to pay closer up to the 225 range. So for Craigslist, if you're going to go buy a new symbol, you would just select your area and you would go to the music section. Uh, I recommend setting it to has image. We don't want to see things that don't have images because we want to see <clears throat> if possible how what kind of shape um, the symbol is in. So you just put your search criteria in and you come up with symbols. And here you can see a variety of symbols and that's a pretty good deal right there as is that. So here's a Zildjian ride symbol. It's hard for me to tell, but it looks like it's in pretty decent shape. This is a 20 inch ride and they only want 125 for it, which is a really good price. I've had really good success buying symbols, uh, use symbols off Craigslist and eBay. Like I said, the normal price for this is about 300 bucks plus. So that's why I like to buy used. Uh, the only th issue with Craigslist is you're going to have to go meet the seller in person, which is a little sketchy sometimes, but you know, that's sometimes what you have to do to get deals and you're going to have to pay cash. So you got to be willing to meet the person in a public place, like a, a Walmart parking lot or something like that. <clears throat> and like I say, you want to bring cash and if it might be a good idea to bring a friend with you as well too. Um, most of the time you're not gonna have a problem, but you know, just to be on the safe side. So there's a 20 inch Zoja ride symbol for 125, which if I was in the market, I would probably contact that person, but I already have one. Um, there's a K, a Zildjian K, which is really cool too. This one looks a little more tarnished, but they want 75 bucks, which is not bad. They don't say this, um, the diameter though. Oh, 16 inches. Okay, there it is. Great. That's a, that's a decent deal. Um, and then they've got, you can, see, you can see they've got other various brands. This is a combo, a 17 inch crash and a 17 inch China. That, um, that one looks a little, it doesn't look fundamentally, um, broken or cracked or anything, but it does look a little tarnished, but so that deal is a little, I don't know, it's okay. And you can see, here's a set of hi-hats. This one's going for 220. It's a demo, probably from a music shop, which 220, <clears throat> if it's a demo, it's usually relatively new, which I do buy demo stuff too. That's another discussion. Um, so 220 is not a terrible price for a, basically a, use, a set of, it's used because it's been sitting in the music shop display, but it's not been really been used that heavily. So it's probably in really good shape. So that's a pretty decent price. All right. So that's buying on Craigslist. eBay, similar, but a little bit different. So we're just going to put in you know what we're looking for. Let's go generic right now. Zojin symbols, although you can get pretty specific with eBay. And like I say, you can put in whatever you can buy a set, but in mostly individuals for sale. You can put in whatever you're looking for. Let's just say crash. Uh, we want it to be used, so we'll put that in there. And let's put in our price criteria too. So we want to pay anywhere from 150 
the 225. And we still have over 200 results. So right at the top here is a Zildjian K crash symbol for 189. That's on the high end. And there's a lot of stuff about 150 to 170, which is about right for a used crash. Um, with eBay, it's the auction-based website, so you can buy them straight out. For some of these, like the Buy It Now, you can buy this straight out. You just go in there, and if you're willing to pay the 150 free shipping, it's a pretty good deal. Uh, you would just go there and do that. Or if you want to try to get a slightly better price, then you're going to have to compete with other sellers and go through the bidding process. And you may or may not win. So that's eBay and how it works. A uh, very simple version. There's other things too. Uh, you want to look at the seller's ratings too um, when you're buying a symbol. So just this one for example. You want to look at the seller's feedback and you want it 90% and up. And preferably you want from a seller who's actually sold some things before. This is not like their first uh, their first sell because um, then they may mess it up and not know what they're doing. So yeah, look at that as well. And then finally, you can ask to go to music sites. One of my favorites right now is Guitar Center. And here, you just go to Use Gear. You select drums, which is the generic. And then you select cymbals. They do sell packs, but more, more likely you're going to be doing individual cymbals when you're going used. Let's just say hi-hats today. Uh, we're looking at Sabian. And our price range is going to be probably two to three hundred bucks for a decent set. And you can see there are some really nice ones right there. Like I said, that's in excellent condition, which means it's almost brand new. So that's a pretty decent price for that. And then you've got other ones, 200, 200, 150 to 200 bucks is about right for a set of really high quality used hi hats. So you can see all the, the hi hats listed here. Let's go down one level. Let's go down to 100, 200 range and see what we find. Yeah, I knew it. I'm betting you can find a really nice set for that price. About 150. There's one for 200. Those look like the most in brand new shape. So, yeah, I like that a lot better. So, with these, I mean, it's really easy. You just find what you want. Price range is good on those. You would add it to your cart. And then <clears throat> I think you have to pay shipping with these sites, which is going to run you another. 20 bucks plus probably maybe less depending on the the weight and size of these so just include that in your your pricing all right so like i say these are some really good deals here too and and when you're ordering from these sites you know you're ordering it from an established business and not just an individual so a little more protection there if that's something you're looking for so yeah, there's some really good deals here. I need to get off this website before I decide to buy something. Um, so there you have it. That's how to buy new and used symbols.